All right, this one's gonna be on the watch command, which is a command that executes uh, other commands in a different interval. So I'll give you an example of that here. It's basically uh, writing a while loop, but instead of writing a while loop, you can just use this command, uh, mainly for monitoring something like in real time. All right, so for example, uh, usually if you wanna write up like a command uptime, this checks for, you know, how long your computer's been up and the average load and all that, right? But usually if you want to see like the different results, you have to execute it again, again, and again. And that's why people write a while loop. Um, but, you know, you don't have to write a while loop. You can just use this program to monitor it. So we're going to do watch um, uptime here. Right, we're going to run this program. And by default, it goes two seconds. So every two seconds here is going to execute this command or any other command that, you know, you can think of to do this. So every two seconds, it's gonna look at uh, you know the changes, uh, the time that will change or whatever. Um, so that's pretty much it. The program they do have some other flags here. So to get out of this, it's just Control C, right? If you want to change um, like the intervals, you can do like a dash N, and let's say we want one second instead of two seconds, right? Now we'll do like every one second here. Uh, it will execute this uh, command. And you can see the changes, right? If you want to even faster than that, uh, instead of one second, you can do, you know, one tenth of a second. Then always, you know, go real quick here. Although it doesn't show it from this command, but it does do it real quick. Uh, other things you can do instead of doing, uh, well, they have this thing called difference. So let's get rid of this here. This one will show you the, the difference here, just a dash D. So every two seconds here, um, if there's any changes, it will just highlight the difference. So you see like all the highlights in white right there. Uh, that means um, that has been changed. So that's what the dash D flag does. The next one will get rid of this first line, like the time and stuff like that. So that's one is the dash T that will get rid of uh, you know the date and shit like that and you just only have your commands that uh, you want to monitor but i like to you know the other way usually i would use this one the dash d and then the, the command uh so that's that you can use this with other commands like i said so instead of using uptime you can use like a free dash m for your memory if you want to check that so that's that or you can use this in other commands if, uh, for example, if you're using the transmission command line, you can do, I mean, they do have a NCURSE interface, but let's say if you didn't have one, uh, you can do like transmission remote. Usually you'll list it out like this, right? Right now it's empty, but let's say we add something in here. I'm going to do wallpapers just to be safe here. And let's say we want to add, um, you know, one through three here. We'll add that sucker close that off and we'll run this command again usually you, if you want to see like you know the changes you would actually have to uh, you know repeat this command over and over but we're gonna use the uh, watch command right and we're just gonna actually we'll put in the dash D also so we can see the difference and this one every two seconds is gonna tell me what has been changed in so right now it's downloading here this two are downloading this one is on idle um, it's changing the percentage and so on and so forth. So you can actually create like kind of like a NCURSE interface. Not really, but uh, you know, you're just re-executing the command again. Uh, instead of writing out a while loop, you can just use this one real quick. So that's pretty much it when you do with the program. Really cool. Although that thing looks ugly right now. Let me change it back though. Um, something like this, right? And you can see that it looks pretty again here. Uh, you can see the changes and you see what you're downloading and so on and so forth. So if there was no transmission remote CLI, the end cursor interface, you can actually use it like this if you want. And you can still see your results in real time if you download torrents. Or you can use some other programs uh, like Task Pooler. That's what I use it for with the other ones. If I want to copy something and queue up tasks, I can do that. Anyways, that is the watch command, um, kind of like a replacement for the while loop on some uh, occasions like monitoring, uh, you know, a result in real time. 
That'd be it for this one, really.